welcome back to the channel. This weekend we are at Detectable, Spring Detectable 2023 and it's an absolute mud bath here at the moment. This is the campsite, I've got Fred with me, I've got my wife with me this weekend. Yeah, it's going to be really exciting, we've got all the CMD guys. Uh, thanks ever so much to Craig and uh, Scott for inviting us down for this one again. Much appreciated, we had a few drinks last night around the fire pit and signed in this morning. Had a bacon sandwich in the camper van. And yeah, we're going to go down now, listen to the briefing and get out detecting. Right guys, we are off and running. Spring Detectable 2023. And I've got the new GoPro. So, we to do some live digs. I'll see you at the first. Right guys, we're off and running. And I've just found this lovely little lead bag seal. Probably the nicest bag seal I've found. I don't think it's particularly old. But yeah, it's really cool. I like that. Cool. Nice one. Hopefully that's a sign of things to come. A little strange one here guys. Funny little buckle thing. Doesn't look quite substantial enough to be a proper buckle, but it's a little interesting. Rang up a sort of eight ten on the knocks. Cool. At least we're finding things. Sign of good stuff. Hopefully the finds will keep coming. Alright guys and girls, I found this. <laughs> And I have no idea what it is. None at all. Maybe a little old toy gun or absolutely no idea. I don't think it's very old. But yeah, intriguing. Weird one. If any of you guys have got a idea what, what this might be, leave me a comment. All right, first coin of the weekend. 18, not too deep. Yeah, cool. Looks like a William the Third half penny to me, but it's so toasted you can't really get nothing off it. But the shape and size says William the Third half penny. Yeah, nice. Hopefully, one of many. I thought I'd just stop for a minute at the top of this hill and show you the incredible view. Look at the landscape up here is amazing. Absolutely incredible. Right, I haven't filmed many uh, signals because it's been, uh, well, just quite busy. I've been chatting away to people, but yeah, just come across this nice 13, 14. Young lad up there, just had a hammy, so we know they're here. And while we're here with the GoPro, try out my first live dig. Nice and soft here. A bit stony everywhere, else, but yeah, it's quite nice and soft here. Have a little look. Still in the hole. A little bit iffy to be honest. But I haven't really found a lot of decent stuff today yet. We've got a weekend. Still in the hole. We have a pinpointer in there in a minute just in case I've damaged anything with my spade. I'm going to be doing that if we know it's hammered here. Oh, we're out. trash I think. Yep, bit of trash, bit of tin. Never mind, we'll keep going. Right guys, got a lovely little signal here. 15, 16. One of the nicest signals I've had all day. Well, it's just this funny shaped bit of lead. Clearly shaped for a reason like that, but I'm not sure why. I thought there was a bit of patterning on there, but I don't think there actually is. Yeah, strange one. Cool, on to the next. All right, I've just come across another strange little lead find. It's got 293 on it. Yeah, not sure what that is at all. If anyone's got any idea, again, yeah, leave me a comment. No idea what that would be. No idea. Right, I'm gonna head back to the camper van now for a bit of lunch. Haven't found too many spectacular finds, but I am having finds. Got a box full of bits and bobs. Go and have a bit of lunch. Oops, that. Nothing. Nothing. Um, yeah, go back and have a bit of lunch. Try some of the other foods this afternoon. Might go on a bit of arable, the cultivated stuff. If I can find where it is on the map. 
But yeah, so far so good. Found a few bits and bobs. The young lad's found a hammy up the top of this field, which has been good fun. But yeah, in the meantime, I'll carry on detecting and I'll see you in a bit. Right guys, I've got a nice 13, 14, literally right next to the campsite. Well, amongst the campsite actually. Give that one a go. Here we go, another big old lump of lead. Definitely a lot of finds today. Quantity, not quality, so far. But who knows what's gonna happen the rest of the weekend. All right, this is what the finds box looks like lunchtime day one. These are the best bits. A brooch thing, bag seal, not sure what that is. Or a William or a George, half penny. Funny token with numbers on it. <coughs> yeah, not too bad. I'll take that for lunchtime day one. I'm gonna go and see if we can find a different field to detect this afternoon. And see how we get on. But for now, we're gonna have some lunch. Right, we just had a bit of lunch. Now heading over to some different fields. I'm in field three at the moment, but I'm actually walking through to field four. I have heard of some hammers, even a gold coin has come up, Saxon strap end, silver thimble, lots of bits and bobs. Nothing for me yet, but there's still plenty of time. It's only just after lunch day one. I'll see you at the first. Right, we've got an iffy, very iffy. Sort of 14, 15, 17, jumping around everywhere, but we'll give it a go. Here we go, we're on the silver, my first ever Queen Victoria shilling, 1897, look at that, awesome, I'll give it a clean up and I'll come back to you, I can't clean it up as much as I'd like to, but that one I'll have to go in the, in the lemon juice when I get home and that'll clean up a treat I reckon, still a lot of detail on there, absolutely fantastic. First silver of the weekend, get in there. Right, I've got another one here. Solid 11, 12. Well, there we go. Just a brob of lead this time. Nothing spectacular. Cool, on to the next. Right, I've got a lovely 16, 17 here. Really nice. Let's try and dig this one with you. Like a hot knife through butter, um, digging this. It's really, really easy digging. Really easy. Mm, a bit scratchy, but not sure. Still in there. Still in the hole. That. Can I just see a bit of green come out of there? Look I did. Oh yes. A coin. Definitely a coin. Toasted I think. Give it a wipe. No trousers. Yeah, toasted coin. But a coin is a coin. Nice. Cool, on to the next. Got a lovely sounding 11, 11, 12. It's normally lead, but been known to be hammered. Well, it's not hammered, but it is a nice little button, complete with the shank and everything. I like this field four. It's turned out to be a good field. Nice. Right, I've got a nice 1920, 21. Are we on copper coin? Maybe. We'll give this one a dig. Nice big plug. Don't miss it. Missed a few uh, targets today. Dug in the wrong place. Just, I think we're just onto a uh, big old chunk of lead. Huge chunk of lead, actually. 
never mind. Right, that's it for day one of Detectable. These are this afternoon's bits after lunch. A toasted coin there, a few buttons, a bell thing, four hole button, but the uh, standout find of the day. Nice Queen Victoria, one shilling, 1897. First one of them I've ever found, actually. It's gonna be some really nice detail on that when that uh, gets cleaned up when we get home. So yeah, day one, I'd call that a success. So we'll see what day two brings tomorrow. Looking forward to it. I'll see you then. Detectable day two. Decided to go down to different fields today across the other side of the farm. Apparently there was a lot of Roman and Saxon came up here yesterday. Absolutely beautiful bit of the farm. I'm out this morning with Carl over there, mental detecting. Check out his channel. He's a top bloke. But yeah, we're gonna see what comes up today. Fingers crossed. Right, first signal of day two. I've got a nice solid 12 there. Fingers crossed. Let's get this one out of the ground. First find, bit of rubbish. Never mind. We'll crack on. There's been people all over this field um, for two days, and God knows how they've missed this one. That is absolutely amazing. Possibly one of the best signals I've had this weekend. Gutted. Just a big button. Oh, I thought that was going to be the one. Never mind. Keep going. Right, I've just heard that in this field, we were going to go to another field, but in this field where we've been for the last hour or so, there's been a little hoard found. So I've just come up with this nice solid 12 necks. There's a lot of buzz about the place this morning. I think that field was where we were going to go. And uh, a few people have found bits in there today, but a bloke's found a silver denarii down there. And there's a few coins come up over there. And I've got a 12 right here. <laughs> Wish me luck. Well, I've found another rubbish button. But over there, Carl, mental detecting, it's just had a Roman. So let's go and have a look. And there it is. Good buddy Carl's just found a nice Roman. Nice. It's not one I've seen before. No, but I'm not, sure. I've not I'm found many it. Romans myself, so. <laughs> well. Today's there the day. We winner. What's we'll that one? All there. Yeah. Right, I've been advised by some guys who found some silver to dig the scratchy iffy signals, so that's what I'm gonna do. Bit scratchy. Where is it? There. Bit scratchy, bit jumpy. I'll give it a bash. Well it's not silver, but it is much better than a button. Big old musket ball. Cool, I like those. Nice, but my best find of the day so far. I'll take it. Another one of these really nice 18, 19s. Fingers crossed this time. Just another button to add to the collection. Did have me going for a minute because it's got some gilt on the back there. But just a button. Never mind, I means somebody else missed it, so that's good. On to the next. So. <laughs> One of the first holes I haven't um, filmed, and there's this lovely bit of buckle. I've just dug button after button after button after buttons, and it's just sounded just like those. But that's absolutely lovely. Really lovely decoration on it. What a smart piece of buckle. Cool, I really like that. That's an upgrade on a button anyway. Right, we're gonna try again. This sounds like a button, probably is a button, but I uh, got caught out with that buckle, so I thought I'd film it anyway. 1415, lovely sound. And just as predicted, it's a button. <laughs> God, just a button. Right, I haven't filmed much for a little while, but I've come across this nice 1213. I did find a nice iron key earlier that I'll uh, show you at the end of the video in the roundup. But yeah, for now, Give this one a dig. 
just a little bit of lead this time. Never mind. We'll keep going. Well, the sun's come out. It's absolutely beautiful. And I've managed to actually get on this ploughed field despite the rain. I'm actually heading back towards um, the campsite for lunch, but I thought I'd walk across this ploughed field to get there and see what it's like and maybe come back after lunch. But yeah, promising. And the first diggable signal I've had on this field is uh, from this nice buckle. Nice bit of green patina on it. It's hard going in this field, but yeah, nice little find. Right, it's lunchtime day two. These are all the bits I've found so far. These are some of the nicer bits. I think we're probably going to give it a couple more hours and then head off. A lot of people are heading off and packing up now. But it's been a great weekend, there's been lots of good stuff come up. We'll see what comes up in the next couple of hours and then we'll call it a day. What an incredible weekend. We're all done now. We're going to head home. We're in the camper to go home. Everyone's had fun. Um, yeah, really tired. Thanks so, uh, ever so much to the CMD guys for making us feel welcome as always. That was absolutely fantastic. Craig and Scott and all the others. That was absolutely brilliant. But yeah, we're going to go home now and I'm going to edit this video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>